What's up, everyone? You tune into Ill Vibe Theory, your number one source for underground hip hop and R&B in the Las Vegas Valley. And we have some very, very, very special guests with us today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Peace, peace, y'all. It's the almighty funk here representing the Blackface crew. What's going on? It's Hard Work, representing Cove Original. Yeah, peace, peace. This is Poetic Force, representing for the Asiatic Rhythms. All right, tell us about yourself. What brings you guys to Las Vegas? What are we doing here? Um, right now we're on the road on the More Peace Tour. Mm -hmm. um, put together, Asiatic Residents put it together, and they invited me to come along. So uh, we've been to Seattle, uh, Oregon. Shout out to Eugene, Oregon. Um, and we're, now we're here in Vegas. Yeah. We had a show uh, last night or the night before. Yeah. yeah. That went very well. So we appreciate all the support and all the, um, the feedback we've been getting since we've been out here. Definitely, definitely. Do you guys have anything to add? On add like on tour. No, add on what he was saying. Oh yeah, it's, it, it is a it's a blessing to be. This is my first tour actually being on road like this with my music. So I think it's a very uh, good improvement in my career and for my music and uh, just getting outside of the Los Angeles area and hitting new states like that and new people and new fans. I think it's a really great opportunity for us. So yeah, it's really awesome. Definitely. And what made you guys add him on? Yeah, what this. made you guys do that? <laughs> <laughs> Where did what I get The combo in? that's yeah, been, yeah, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do that. You handle so that. So go ahead, Logic. <laughs> All you. Nah, you know, well, we honestly been making music together since we was like 15, 16 years old. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is this is like my brother. You know, just not like, uh, you know, because I up. engineer for him. Yeah. Like, work you know we make beats and mm -hmm. we do all that but this is like my brother so right whatever we doing mm -hmm. like of course i'm going to include him yeah, yeah. Definitely. right and that's yeah. the, the only thing that separates us are our separate entities as far as the, the brand and the, the brand. business goes yeah, the business goes um, so yeah. there's not really a real divide other than that yep. you know we just we do everything together already already mm -hmm. definitely and tell me about the more peace tour like what made you come up with that title like what is the purpose why well, um, the more peace tours, we just want to spread love and kindness. Yeah, <laughs> word. <laughs> like, for real, though. <laughs> and we don't want to sound so cli so cliche, but <laughs> hey, that's real. That's the real truth, man. Okay. We're living in a rough society. Yeah, that's, that's true. Definitely. Where people are being killed every mm -hmm. day. People are being yeah. lifted from their homes every day. Mm -hmm. Where peace really isn't uh, shared anymore. Exactly. So our whole philosophy is to spread that light. Mm -hmm. Spread that message and bring more peace yeah. to, to the world. Not only just, you know, the music industry, mm -hmm. but to the world. Yeah. I like that. So, yeah. Definitely. Cool. Have anything to add? I would just say on a personal level, uh, uh, when, t when the, the title came down, the name of the, the tour came down to, like, you know, we chose this, this name. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it kind of hit me kind of hard or not hard but i had it took it take it very personal so like more peace for me is like yeah finding more peace in my own life yeah and therefore I, there's no way that you can go spread anything uh without you having it yourself so that's that's both sides of the Definitely. coin peace or or hate you know mm -hmm. like if you're full of hate you'll spread hate if you're full of peace you'll spread peace so it's all about you know coming to those terms with yourself first and then going out and and sharing that with everybody else mm -hmm. Definitely. And I know Poetic Force, you tweet often today's <laughs> goals. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that and how that maybe correlates to this. What are your goals of today? Uh man, just I just I just want to keep continuing growing with my music, you know. And when I tweet, uh, I just I just like we said with the more peace, I just want to spread peace, you know what I mean? Yeah. On Twitter and all that stuff, it's a yeah. bunch of junk and stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So when I get on when I get on there, I just want to spend, spread my message and inspire my followers to, you know, follow their dreams and kind of see what we're doing as well, like just independent artists really trying to make it happen without a major deal, you know? Okay. And hoping that we inspire other people and upcoming artists to do the same, you know? So I just want to keep growing as an artist and just keep, mm -hmm. keep it moving up. For sure. And yeah. tell us a little bit about how you guys... Um, came upon hip hop. Can you recall a time when you felt? <laughs> like or, like, I remember. I remember yeah. very clearly. Uh, yeah. I was like seven Me or too. eight or something like that. Mm -hmm. And like I think hip hop was always around, but it didn't like click. You know, it was just kind of like you know, I, my parents listened to all kinds of music. Mm -hmm. uh, so, <laughs> so it's funny because too sh getting it by too short. 
was like the first. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the first song, the first hip hop song that like it connected with me. That's he was like, let me holler at you, partner. Switch this game in here for a minute. Yeah, we complain okay. about how you can't get it because you ain't got it. Okay. You got what it takes, but not enough to get started. Like, okay. that was a positive <laughs> message. Now, I didn't understand that Too Short was like, Too Short the Pimp and all that yeah, other yeah, stuff. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah, I didn't really know that. It. But that was probably like his most peaceful, like, positive song that he ever made. And I, when I heard it, I was like, man, this is tight. So, like, so like um, we weren't allowed to. <laughs> I grew up, we grew up in the, well, I grew up, we grew up in the suburbs. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, it's a very mixed diverse neighborhood that we come from West Covina so um at my Caucasian friend's house like hip-hop wasn't allowed right <laughs> so I, I was like man my way that I'm, I'm gonna be able to do like do what I want or like rebel against their rules was like I was writing all the lyrics down to like the two short song like and I was laughing to myself like haha but then like after I saw it I was like yo like I just wrote at least his lyrics you know what I'm saying that's the first time like it was like damn like I mean sorry no, um I was like uh you know FCC. it was it was <laughs> It was like the revelation, like, oh, yeah. like I can do this too. Like mm-hmm. I can write a song, you know. Mm-hmm. So that was that was how I really started getting into it. That was like eight, seven, too eight, short, something huh? like that. Yeah, too, too short. short. Of all yeah. people, of all people. <laughs> That's funny. What about you guys? And I'm gonna actually have you move over to this mic if you guys could share a little. This yeah. mic level is. Man, not... I don't like him like that. <laughs> Get up out of here, Lizzie. I would have to say, man, I had an older sister who was like. Um, <laughs> who's about 11 years older than me. So mm-hmm. she grew up in like the hip hop generation. Mm-hmm. So that really is where I have I like took from her. Mm-hmm. But I had an MC Hammer doll for Christmas. Aww. So <laughs> MC Hammer is like my first introduction to like what hip hop music was. I don't know if y'all would consider it hip hop because he was really like a pop star, a commercial pop so star, but say. too legit to quit was... <laughs> My was my joint, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I had the Dolph and everything and a Jodeci tape. Now this Ooh, is when Jodeci, little yeah. tapes like cassettes tapes, was in yeah. style, mm-hmm. and we had a little karaoke little machine that me and my cousin used to go around the house and make songs <laughs> to like this Jodeci, New Kids on the Block, oh and gosh. MC Hammer. Man, yeah, that man. yeah, that's like that yeah, that's what yeah, like that's, childhood. yeah. I mean, it was cool. I can't complain. Huh? I mean, I can't complain. Huh. <laughs> What about you, P? Me, man, I was, I, I grew up on listening to like other music, mm-hmm. and then I started uh, getting into graffiti art when I was like a young teenager, and then doing that really opened my, opened my mind up to like hip hop, and I, I started studying like New York hip hop mm-hmm. and all that stuff, you know, and then from there I just kind of just grew with that, and now I'm doing it, you know, so Definitely. it's a blessing to be a part of it. I love For it. Sure. I love music. That's that's real. And what are some of you guys' musical influences? Mm. Well, we all know yours is too short. <laughs> um, I will have to say I'm um, I'm a I'm a Dilla head, mm. and Jay Dilla really inspired me to do what I do. That's love, mm-hmm. and I and I just I love the man for his hard work and yeah. his dedication to the art. And um, I would have to say Jay Dilla and the whole like Soul Aquarians movement with Common and Erica Badu and the Roots. Mm-hmm. That's really you know where I I really pull from mm-hmm. are, are those uh, is that collective bunch of, of people. Definitely. So like I said earlier, um, my <laughs> introduction to hip hop was West Coast gangster rap. So um, there we go. T- DJ Quick yeah. uh, Exhibit, and then later on I got and later, later on I got into Talib. And yeah, okay. um, Pharaoh Monch, Busta Rhymes, The Roots, like he said. Uh, Black Thought is like, hands down, one of the best MCs of all time. Yeah, for sure, um, for sure. Ever. Mm-hmm. So, like, You've always said that, too. It's not even it's like debatable. He's underrated. Yeah, he's he's underrated. Said that. Um, Planet Asia. Um, there's another group called Strong Arm Steady from L.A. Um, they were big uh, yeah, for me. Um, yeah, those are, that's pretty much a, a nice summed up list you know yeah yeah, yeah. for me uh i listen to all types of music you know like with hip-hop i think uh jay-z Nas, and biggie are the three that really kind of pulled me in Mm -hmm. and you know it's it's so much you gotta like you can't just start from one once you start you gotta keep going in the vaults and going in and going in you know Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. i was just studying for such a long time and and other music inspires me too like i'm a huge fan of like the beatles you know the beatles are very big inspiration on my music um like the doors and like pink floyd and all that psychedelic rock and stuff like that jazz music of course and we bring all that stuff in and in, in, into our music and that's why we just so 
you know, peace yeah, with it. To build on that, like to go outside of hip hop, I would say like Michael Jackson, of course. Yeah, of course. Like Michael Jackson, of, yeah, course. of course. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah. I was really in Earth, Wind, Fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire when I was younger. Al Green. Um, Al Green. I was. We listened to him, but it was like I like the upbeat, like the like the yeah. like you know what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, like the the jazzy live type stuff. That was mm -hmm. kind of my my thing. I would, I would since we're going back again. I have to give it Mad Lib. I I really listen to Mad Lib, okay. and Wu Tang Clan, and them guys yeah. really like put me on some hip hop. And then other than that, um, I have to say Bob Marley. Oh yes, and of course, um, of course, and Stevie Bob. Wonder. Mm. And those those is like yeah, mm. they draw it on me right. <laughs> we, we got Marvin Gaye in the car yeah. right now. We yeah, I do. I did have. Right yeah, now. we were on the road trip. We was listening to Marvin. Yeah. Just because we listened to American Gangster before that, yeah. and it had yeah. like all, all the, the Marvin samples, Gaye samples. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. we was just we just we man, just we be just digging, music heads, yeah. man. It's it's crazy. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys, to I'm round, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say it's hard to sum it all up. You yeah. know, it's just hard to round up like every person I've ever listened to or drawn inspiration yeah. from. But definitely, it was, it was cool. Yeah. And you guys seem like legit friends. Yeah, like, you yeah, like yeah. around each other. Yeah, uh -huh. you know what I mean. Yeah. Like people, when I mean, they they're right. around each other, they think they like, cool. oh, you guys hate each other. But that's cool. You guys seem like you really. So tell me about like this tour life. How has um, it been? Um, <laughs> you know you're oh, in a car man. with That's, the same people. Yeah, for a sleepy, long time. Drink, everything with them. Man. These guys actually, I I was I was with a whole other crew like growing up, you know, mm -hmm. in the streets and stuff like that. And I like I knew them in high school. You know what I mean? They're they're older than me, a little yeah. bit like four few, four years older than me. But don't give away my age, bro. But uh, <laughs> but I I had like this other group, you know, this other clique in the streets, and then they they I knew that they were doing music in like the studio, yeah. mm -hmm. and like they introduced. Yeah, they introduced me to that, and they're like, "Yo, Adam, you should come over here. We know you, you know you do rap, and so you know we know you like it. You should mm -hmm. some try it out." And just one day, I went over there, and then shh, I didn't I didn't leave, and now you know mm -hmm. we're here together, and these are my brothers, man. It's real. I think the only thing that the only thing that makes being on tour with them different is that. Now it's almost like we're seeing each other every day again. Yeah. Like we used to see each other every day when we were at the mm -hmm. studio. Like we every week we have a show. We would studio every day. You know all that stuff. We haven't mm -hmm. been on that in a long time because mm -hmm. you know we all have been doing our own things. Definitely. Um, so it's kind of funny. Like it hasn't really changed anything. Like they the things that I'd have to say. Like just be completely one hundred. Like the things that bother them about me. I mean bother me about them mm -hmm. are probably things that are, I reflect on uh, from myself anyway. Mm -hmm. So like we all kind of do the same. I have the same behaviors towards each other. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a like I don't like this or I don't I hate this guy or whatever. It's just kind of like uh, I understand you because I'm gonna do the same thing to you tomorrow. Yeah. So it's all right. Like you know what I'm saying? So it's like an understanding. It's cool. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Definitely. And you know we're we're planning. You know this if this this is serious. You know so we have to really know that we're gonna be in each other's our future for a long time. You know and mm -hmm. we're not always gonna be together, of course. Mm -hmm. But I think if we just keep growing with you know our friendship. Because that's where it started at, you know, mm -hmm. besides this business, besides the music. If we grow with our friendship, I think we can, you know, just keep keep it rolling, keep it going higher. Definitely. Sure. And with that, like, what is your guys' overall goal, I guess you could say? Mm. Like, and how do you plan to accomplish that goal? Because, I mean, your manager here, Alina, she does a really good job. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. I'd Definitely. like to say. She's, Definitely. She's sure. doing really well. So, like, um, just talk about how you linked up with her. Um, and also, like, what's your overall goal, what you want to do with that? How you'll... Well, Alana's my cousin, mm -hmm. um, so we linked up uh, through biological, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, connections uh, through the blood. <laughs> um, my personal plans uh, with music is to be able to live a sustainable lifestyle solely off of music money, um, and not necessarily. I, I, it's kind of like a, one of those things where I I can see it, and I and I know what I want to do. But I can't always, uh, I can't always um, grab it, grasp it, put it in like put it in stone or put it in like you know like make it concrete. Mm -hmm. So like what my last two years are doing, like the whole blue car thing I'm doing is like making it concrete. Like like this is the the foundation that I'm rolling off of, and this is how I'm going to make it. Um, making it for different people, making it different things for different people, and being an underground artist there's like a stigma that you can't make a lot of money because you're independent or you can't do this or you can't or that's a sellout thing or whatever like those are all limitations that we've been putting on ourselves yeah. being independent artists yeah. um mm -hmm. so i'm like man i'm down if i make a billion dollars off what i do or you know fifty thousand a year off what i do as long as it's off what i do and i know it's coming from a pure place mm -hmm. then that means what i get, got back for doing what i do was deserved 
Um, so I don't put like a cap on it or I don't put like a, you know, that type of thing. But I just I just want to maintain doing what I want to do the way I want to do it. I like that. Yeah. My whole my whole goal as a musician, you know, as a black face represent representative is uh to change the perception or the the stigma that plagued the entertainment uh era back then in the ni- early 1900s, 1800s that black face, you know, you think of minstrel show and you think of like so what does this guy want to do? What is what does he mean? And my whole purpose is to change history. And so I have to st- at first start with myself and represent who I am and stand for that. Mm-hmm. And so my whole goal is, like he said, to piggyback him, is not only to uh, have a life and be able to provide for my family and my children and my children's children, but right. to have an impact on the world and to change the perception of what blackface once was mm-hmm. to now it it is more it is changing a not a negative into a positive. Mm-hmm. It's now seen into a positive light and not in a negative light anymore. So that's well, that's a good answer because yeah, it does have my, a lot of negative you it know, does. connotations to it. It, it does. So. It does. So we we our whole mission is is to change that perception, to mm-hmm. change the history, you know that that was once written for uh, about blackface. Definitely. That's real. Yeah. With, with me, man, my goal. You know, I just, I just, I just want to live off, off of my dream. You know, just, just do what I love. You know, and travel the world, and hopefully, I can inspire as many people as I can doing it. And like he said, if I make a billion dollars, cool. If I make fifty grand a year, that's cool. As long as that's true, as long as I'm doing what I love to do, and that's all that matters. So, it's not about the money, materialistics, and all that stuff. You know, the the awards and all that it's just about really finding your purpose and going out there and fulfilling your destiny no matter what it is you know so i just i just want to stick to god's plan and just just keep doing what i'm doing because the money is just a tool yeah like the money's a tool the awards all those things they come not everybody's gonna get the recognition they deserve it's true Mm -hmm. um but if you're getting if you're getting an award um you're being awarded for your work Mm -hmm. for how how much you've mastered your craft like that's what that it should stand for yeah so like all those things are just just tokens yeah just bonuses it's, yeah. it's not really about all that yeah it's about being the best yeah. that i can be and and knowing that like our fans like love our music you know like that's one thing to me that really keeps me pushing like when somebody comes up to us after a show or tweets us or whatever like hey we really like your guys's music they listen to our music i think that already is the goal that i achieved you know what i mean just just gaining fans yeah like like, i think that's amazing when somebody could wake up and put on a poetic force album you know and listen Mm -hmm. to my music in a day-to-day basis i think that's just that's already achieving what i want to do so definitely and christian was talking about it a little bit earlier i don't know if you wanted to talk about it a little bit more um about your work with Mm -hmm. transport Mm -hmm. Do you want to get into that i mean (laughs) off mic i don't know i was it wasn't really too much um just going off of like how funny it was just you know how mm-hmm. small small I don't know, it's, it's weird like small world how, how the thing is, like the world works in terms yeah. of like just progression in terms of like yeah especially the entertainment industry specifically mm-hmm. like the music industry um it really just gets you to reflect i was blogging a lot back in the day like about like you know it came out 2009 mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. i remember i was blogging for this uh blog called nine grand and i was also at the time you know really into just discovering hip-hop this is the, like i was like really you know just getting into the the online blogosphere you know yeah. two dope boys was coming yeah. all of it, that oh nine was when it was really you know it was going on. everything was going on yeah. there, you know just uh going off of that um you know how working jam sport J, they put out that project i remember posting up listening to it a little bit <laughs> man it's, it's just crazy you know what i'm saying and yeah. then just going off of that and um i don't know just i don't know what i'm really trying to say man i'm just all over the just place. pointing it out that yeah, it was yeah. like how crazy just, like the, the way the connection yeah, like yeah, came cool. back around like, and, and that's, that's yeah. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead. And now you guys are, you know, you sitting right in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, what crazy. is that, five years later? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's cra- crazy. Yeah. Man. It is. That's yeah. what I was going to say, too. Like, that's a good thing, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. because, like, that means that he's doing his job, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like, dang, he's still progressing yeah. and he's still going, you know what I mean? So that's that's really dope, man. You're, still, you're doing your job, <laughs> man. And it's just awesome, you know, <laughs> like, reflecting from that and see you guys here in terms mm. of, like, the touring and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, and I know you guys have really been the game in, term, in terms of pushing you know mm. in the music industry like tell us about like um i don't know like you know you're 
any other experiences you've had in the music industry that you've been really able to reflect on? Upon, well, you know? kind of just to, like I'll bring those two points together. So like when we were when I was working with, with Jansport J, um, we went on a couple tours. Uh, same type of like independently ran, put together tours that you know came about for us. Um, the difference between then and now is my state of mind and my preparedness to be on the road. Like 2009, when we did that project, that was like the first project I'd ever completed, like solo outside of the things we were doing as a as a group. Mm -hmm. So like, while you know it it got it got very far, it got a lot of exposure, but I wasn't completely necessarily content with it, you know. And so like in that in because of that is why I'm here now and doing the things that way I do them now. Because I see the difference. I see like, okay, I'm kind of, it's kind of doing maybe too much here, too little here, and whatever. You know, I was, been, I worked out all the kinks, and so this time around, um, it's like I'm kind of going through that same step again. So it's like, okay, yeah, you were doing the tours, and then you kind of had to go and figure your life out and figure things out. Now you're back on tour again, and it's like, okay, but this time I got my merch, I got this, I got that, I got albums that I can stand behind, I got music I want people to hear, mm -hmm. you know, like. It's a totally different thing. So now it's like, okay, like you're back where you were. So now it's about put, going forward from here and progressing from this moment. Definitely. I like that. And what are some stuff, what are some projects that you guys are working on right now? Or what can we expect from you just to sum everything up? Yeah, uh, mine, I'm, I'm working on a, well, I'm going to be releasing an album called Mirrors. It's my fifth full-length album so this one's really dope i have really dope producers on here and stuff and it's just a it's a this album is just kind of just my huh <laughs> man i got a really really good people i have uh of course these guys hard work and blackface um producer wise i got day one i got sky hutch who produced for absol and kendrick lamar um yeah i have j1 i have kaleem sincere wasif I said day. Sky. I, I said sky. Um, yeah, just, it's a lot of people. So you're, you're just going to have to find out for yourself once you get when it. When can so. we expect that? I'm going to be releasing it next month in November, 11 11. So yeah, stay cool. on the look. Nice. Yeah. What about you? Let's go down the line. All right. So I'm uh, currently rolling out um, the deluxe version of my 2012 EP called Calling Sick. Um, it's fully remastered by this guy sitting to the left of me. Mm. Fun Glogic, so who mine. does all my mixing and mastering. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so I got a cool uh, limited edition physical package for it that includes a sticker, a photo, my my work resume, and like it's inside of a mini Manila folder. So it's like a complete package. That's cool. And um, it's, it'll be thank you. <laughs> and right now it's available. That's cute. I mean, um, it's a it's available for pre order yeah. online on my website bluecollarwork.com, dot com, okay. uh, bluecollar w e r k dot com. Um, and it'll be released. The official release date is October seventeenth, but it's right now it's available for pre-order, and the iTunes pre-order should be up today if I can get back on the laptop and make sure work all those kinks out with uh, the distribution company. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You want to be all close to me? I understand we friends and everything. Shit. We've been on the road for a long time. Uh, oh, shit. Oh. Nah, nah. But um, I just want to clear up that uh, blackface is a duo. So I'm here representing on behalf of my man. Just call me Kaleem. He couldn't make it. He's back in Indiana right now, taking care of some family business. But if it wasn't without, if it wasn't for him, blackface wouldn't be. So I gotta clear that up. And um, me and my brother, we will be releasing um, a project named Ancient Scientists coming this fall. And um, it's really dope, man. I got some real dope cats. Uh, Kaleem produced the majority of it because he's the producer and I'm the engineer. But um, we have uh, Shafiq Hussein from Sara okay. on there. Um, uh, who else? I think we have uh, Willie B from the Digiphonics who, produ who produce, uh, produced Rigor Mortis for Kendrick Lamar. So we got him on there. And um, I think that's it. I think we might have one more if I'm missing. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, Ancient Scientists. LP dropping this fall. Please, please be on the lookout for that. Please, please. And um, yeah, man, after that, uh, we have some more things, but I'll keep that in the stash. <laughs> I keep that. I don't want to give y'all too much. Yeah. I'll keep that in the stash, though. But Ancient Scientist LP coming from Blackface for sure. For sure. 
For sure. And is there any last thing that you guys want to add, you guys or anyone? I want to get into this music as soon okay. as possible. Um, well, <laughs> first of all, thanks for having us uh, on the show. For sure. For thank you. Um, really do appreciate it. Um, more Peace Tour is continuing to uh, Tempe and Tucson and San Diego and back to L.A. for the rest of this week. Um, I'm going to have some some hard work events in West Covina on this week as well. Oh, um, yeah, for me, it's just, you know, follow me on Twitter. You know, I got an album coming out, Mirrors. Uh, for everybody out there that's listening, you know, just keep doing your thing, follow your dreams, and stay inspired. That's real. Yeah, man. I just wanted uh, everybody to... You know, give somebody a hug or give somebody a dollar right. today. Like, you yeah. know, give, you know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> I got you. I got you, bro. You need to drive. And, you know, give. You know, you reap what you sow and that and just right. take heed with that. So more peace to her coming. Last final, final, final thing. Uh, you can visit, you can find me online at bluecollarwork.com, bluecollar, W-E-R-K.com. And from there, you can get all my social media links. It's mobile friendly. Yeah. Um, to give you a... To give you a direct and me. a direct follow, <laughs> my favorite thing right now is Instagram. So you can follow me on Instagram at Blue Collar Work. That's Blue Collar W E R K, and sure. at Funk Logic on Instagram, <laughs> at Poetic Force on Instagram, mm. AsiaticRhythms.com. Uh. Since you know I gotta do the plugin, uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> all right, so we got you up first. Oh, so oh. Of it, so we got the track all for me. Yes. So you want to give us a little intro about um, it before we get into uh, it? Yeah, this song was basically um, deciding if I'm going to continue to make music or not. And the like the thoughts that were going through my head at the time, like the things that make me, uh, accepting the things that make me stand alone amongst everybody else that's trying to do it. So it's really entitled me, just M-E period, but mm-hmm. sometimes it gets confused through this guy but you know what I'm saying but that's the title you'll find it if you find it on Call Sicky P it'll just be called me yeah alright yeah. so let's get into this track so you're tuning into Ill Vibe Theory keep it locked alright so that was Wale J. Cole and Currency with Rather Be and we're gonna get into some freestyles with our guest today so we're just gonna play a track and you guys just go in do whatever you feel let's do it Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna back off a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, uh. I guess I'll go first and kick a verse off the top. You know it won't stop. Your boy too hot, funk L. Got them rhymes all day, man. Drop dimes. Uh, anyway, they go to freestyle swing. Uh, anyway, I go. Uh, you know what the flow gon' say uh, Kick down the flow, raise up my headphones Yeah, the mic kinda live One, two, kick it from my third eye uh, Step in the microphone scene yeah. Come through with my mean green team uh, uh, And we chillin' out in Vegas Say hey if you follow us on the strip uh, I might throw a piece up uh, Yeah, people throw your piece up uh, when you see us, uh, I pass the mic to uh, Poetic Force, you kick the verse, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so I do it like this, yo, yo, yo. This was for my people, you know we live it equal. We live in life once, man, we never live a sequel. I gotta spit a verse from the top of my dome, it's like this, Poetic Force, I'm on the mi- microphone, so I kick a verse for my people in the city, C-O-V. If you're with me, put your dubs up, it's like this, West Coast, we in the LV. And know I gotta spit it like this, inspire, you gotta follow your dreams. So one thing, one team, one dream, and that's my motto. I'm trying to stack numbers like the lotto, and that's real, and that's real. Sh- you know the deal, what's the deal, how you feel, how I feel? Man, I'm pretty ill like Vibe Radio when I'm chilling on the hey. set. Poetic Falls do it, man, I'm so direct. And I got to f- like this, you know, respect. Uh. So I'm trying to not to curse, but uh. I do it like this. It's but like this, man. But you check your voices, uh. your words and choices uh. coming through, trying to come heard the, the voiceless. Uh. Yo, I'm so... <laughs> See, it's hard not to cuss, but I'm still bust like bust a bust and come through kicking up dust. If only for once, you only get one life. So that's what he said. I'm coming back with like my three dreads. I, <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, but I'm glad I can make you smile even when I'm messing up. 
That's right. Catching up to uh, my own thoughts and I to spit off the top of the dome. Uh, neither leave home without my. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. You know the element the flow so elegant. If seeds have no wind, y'all can't win. Uh. My click stays sharper than a pen. I'm an author with the pen from start to end. Uh. The art comes from within. You wanna be dope? Well, that's the main ingredient. Stay obedient. And if you doubt when I ain't eating it, you can save it for the roaches. No, I ain't eating it. Enough with them lies. See, I'm too wise. I can see through guys with my four eyes. What a shocker. This might shock you. Call up the doctor. This might rock you. Back to the room. You see, we back from the tombs. Uh, move back. You might have bloomed too soon. Uh. It was alright. We got like, we got eighty percent, seventy percent. Grade us on a well, on a learning curve. Is it still uh, going? If y'all want, oh, no, we only oh. got a few oh, sorry, minutes. Sorry, sorry. But, uh, only got a few minutes to get it. Okay. It's up to nah, you. It's up you to you. ain't with it. <laughs> you trying to get it? <laughs> we spit ready. it. We ready. Live it. We ready. Spit one. What else we got? Never forget it. I am spitting. It's um nothing but a G thing. <laughs> it's up to y'all Well Since I'm on the microphone I might as well Try to spit again And not try to spell Out the bad words Trying to put you in a spell Yeah just like the sorcery Coming through No force of me Poetic force with me Ugh. Funk logic too A line of rose uh, Asiatic rhythms crew To keep it true Plus me In the blue Collar shirt <laughs> Put it down You know I put in work Hard work. Spell it kind of off word. <laughs> yeah. H A W D W E R K. I don't know. That's just the name they gave me like back in the day in like 2008 when I was on the bus going to Mount Sac trying to make something better uh-huh. of my life and I didn't have a car at the time. Yeah. Yeah. But I was still going hard with the rhymes and yeah. everything I said is true. This is my life. Coming into you. Freestyling too. What do you do? But it you do. know what I get down. I said all I need to do was get warmed up and I came through like cut. Like, what's up? Uh. <laughs> okay, I hear you. Uh, oh, you saw that, huh? Yeah, yeah, I got it back to like 95 right there. Yeah, 95. Yeah, 95. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry we got to <laughs> cut it a little bit short. We're running All out of good. time. But thank you guys so much for coming out. We really, yes. really do appreciate thank you. it. Thank you. We really to appreciate meet it. You guys. Thank you very much. Um, you have any last words? Uh, Once again, thanks yeah. for having us on. Yeah, more peace. Feel the vibe theory. Awesome. So be on the lookout. We'll have all that information on our website, illvibetheory.com. So we are listener supported 91.5, the Rebel HD2, KUMV Las Vegas, the broadcast service of UNLV, Ill Vibe Theory every Monday, 4 to 6. And have a good one. Peace out. Peace. Peace.